Good morning. Happy, what is today? Tuesday? Tuesday. I hope it's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Um, I am going to paint with another one of my KMS watercolor palettes today. And just let you guys join in on the process. Today I'm going to be painting with the Fall Primaries palette. So let me get set up here. All right, so this is the palette I'll be using today, Fall Primaries, that has Autumn Sky, Caramel Latte, and Blue Pumpkin. I'm really excited about this Blue Pumpkin. It just looks really great. All right, so I always am painting, just so you guys know, on the um, Canson XL watercolor paper. Um, 140 pound when I'm not investing a lot. Um, 300 or more is also really, really nice when I need something nicer and heavier. Um, always using my Princeton Dagger brushes. I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of water to each of these pans. I have really been enjoying this, like, showing up every day painting live. I would love to know what you guys, if you guys like that. <laughs> um, okay, so I hadn't decided. Beetle, moth, or butterfly. Um, anybody in the comments want to help me decide what I'm painting today? One of my bugs, um, a beetle, a moth, or a butterfly. I'm leaning towards moth, but I'm going to go with whatever, um, the first comment is. So you tell me what you want to see. Comment and let me know. Beetle, moth, or butterfly? Moth. Okay, thank you so much, Miss Pom Pom. What a name. I love it. Okay. I'm going to start with this autumn sky. It looks like this like incredible magenta cranberry color. This might be way too bright for me. Ooh, I think I like it. Got an, a vote for beetle. Did I do beetle yesterday? No, I did butterfly yesterday. I will do another beetle, maybe tomorrow. What do you guys think of that? It's pretty bright. Grab a paper towel. I do always love to use a paper towel and soak up extra moisture, especially when I'm getting impatient about drying times. Um, I also like really, really soft stuff, so it's nice to be able to soak up some of the pigment. This one is Blue Pumpkin. Obviously, this is challenging me to jump out of my comfort zone and use colors that I would not typically be drawn to. So, thank you to Caitlin at KMS Watercolors for believing in me and sending me colors that I would never otherwise use. I feel like I'm going to have to call this guy the cotton candy moth because, I mean, how can you not? And then this one is Caramel Latte. Let me get some stronger pigment here. 
here and then add a little bit of a body down here as well to this guy. All right. I'm gonna tie in this caramel latte color into the wings a little bit. And then I think I'm gonna tie in this um, blue in like a muted version. Mm. Up here with my antennas. thinking here of this little mothy moth. These are bright colors, guys. I think this is maybe too much for me. Possibly. All right, where's my pen? I want to add in some detailed line work. I think I'm actually going to do it in pencil today. Um... Everything I do is very loose and without a lot of control and the reason for that is that is what's healthiest for me as a extreme perfectionist. It's really helpful to me to relieve myself from the pressure of having things to be perfect and instead creating things that are beautifully imperfect. I'm going to go ahead and add a little texture to this though. I have this really fun dark mustardy color that I used to mix in and make my olive green yesterday. But I was thinking that I wanted to use it. So um, I'm going to use a different palette knife today. This is a completely different shape. Thought it might be fun. Um, and add a little bit of texture into the wings. Honestly, that just like completed it to a point where I don't feel as scared of the bright colors used. So that's exciting. Right. I do want to kind of soak up some of that and then actually give him some little detail up here and maybe some little legs all right what do we think today's little moth with the fall primaries color palette Everybody have a wonderful Tuesday.